Okay, so I'm Grass Walker, health is back with Forza Horizon 4. We have to go meet uh, Joel at the, the, the Gable Stables. We're gonna see how that goes, but first we need to get back to a road. So that we can drive like a normal person. It's four miles away, that's quite far. But we can just chill and cruise and have a good time in our car. And I think I decorated this pretty well. Like, I think this is a nice looking car. Get that cursor on my screen. You guys should never see a cursor because my recording software ignores curses. But for me, sometimes it's just a cursor in the middle of the screen. I have to move it. I'm like, get out of here, cursor. But I feel like I did an okay job. I've got the little driver holding the racing flag on the back left wing. I've got the Horizon Base Arena slogan about a Horizon Festival, like square under my number plate. Um, once we do a corner, I can show you the side. On this side, I've got the Audi logo, Toyo tires, and then like some lines. And the lines are also on the top. I don't know, I just thought they looked cool. Sometimes, sometimes you just want some lines. And then on this side, we have Audi and an LB Starworks. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I don't know what the Audi rings are, but I don't know what LB works is. They must make something, whether it's transmissions or tires or mirrors. I don't know. Then on the front, I've got an Alpine Stars, whatever that is, and then a Recaro, and then obviously the rest of the lines. Okay, so we made it back to the festival place. Now we just have to get to the gable stables. Get some near miss points. Imagine driving like a normal person on the festival ground. Where you imagine there would be a speed limit of like 15 and I'm going 150. And then on the roof, I think there's like pro zone racing. But it's hard to show the roof. I think it's cool. I dig it. Um, I went for like a very shiny green to show off the black. Which rear-ended that poor innocent man. Doesn't go well with the Toyo tires in my opinion. But I put all the logos on first. And then I was like, oh shit. I should have put the logos on first. I should have picked the colour of the car first and then picked the logos. But, alas, tis what it is. Whoa, he pulled out me a little bit. Wheels I coloured black, just think it looks cool, and then I tinted the windows too. Front one's broken though, which is quite funny. Okay, so it's this left. Broadway. Please drive carefully. Alright. Gables. You're not gonna believe this. The film producers bought this house to use as a set, but when filming wrapped, they just left it. I had a word, and you know what? They said you could have the house for free as a thank you for your work on the movie. See, I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to be like, hey, cool, have some free cars. Hey, cool, have a house. The problem is, is it doesn't land. I'm not earning this house, so I don't give a fuck about this house. And all it does is it devalues any house that I earn in the future. Because if I save up like 750,000 credits and I buy a house with a pool and like a sunroof or whatever, I'll think, ah, well I did get a house for free. You know what I mean? Like this is a huge house. It's got like what, six bedrooms? God knows what it's got. Excellent. Well, since this one's on the movie company, here's the keys. Like, I wouldn't This is need... where your threads are stored. Your wardrobe is like a map of your career. So the more you get yourself out there, the more clothes you'll get in return. A big name needs a big style. Cool. Oh, I see. So you have to get clothes from the Forzathon shops or wheel spins. I can't spend some of my £180,000 on shirts. I could put a hoodie on though, that would be quite funny. 
legs. Uh, I would hope that I had them. Let's get some skinny jeans. Canvas. Slip-ons. I feel like you drive in trainers, right? The black cap. Glasses? Oh wow, you can get a reindeer nose, so that's quite funny. Oh, I wish I could buy a watch. Oh, racing gloves. That's so cool. You any good at dancing? You can bust a move to show off before a race, and bust an even bigger move for when you win. Trust me, it'll be great. <laughs> okay. Um, that seems like something somebody would do when they win a race. So I'll do that when we win. <clears throat> cool, customized my character a little bit. But my rant about the, the housing situation is... If he'd said to me, similar to the cars, right? Oh, it's your first rally race. Do you want to buy the Subaru for 30 grand? And I had like 120 grand on me. Similar to the house. If they'd said, oh, the studio bought this and now they're just offloading it for cost. Do you want to buy it for 100,000 instead of what it would usually be, which is 250? And it's a choice. It's like, you could either well, buy Well, look who made it to the autumn season. You are this close to qualifying for the next round of the Dirt Racing Series. You should come back to Tarn House, it's completely different in autumn. Shut up. If you offer me as the player and you say, listen, uh, the studio you worked for, they bought this house, they filmed in it, it's pretty trashed. You can buy it now for co the cost they bought it at, because they're just trying to recoup the costs. You can buy it for 100000 or you can say no, and then later on you would have to buy it for two fifty, and then I'm making a choice. I either choose... I buy the house now whilst it's cheap, or I say no, and I can put that money towards cars or a new engine or a new paint job or something. But by just handing it to me, I've not earned it, so it doesn't feel like an earned reward. It's not a reward because it's just handed to me and I don't care about it anymore. It devalues all future house rewards because as soon as you've given me a free house, every other house in the game I think of, well, it's not free. Before, like, it's way too nice to be given out for free. If you're giving me a shit one for free, fair enough. But, like, don't give out a really nice one for free. Sunflower Meadows is a new house. Tarnho Scrambled Dirt Racing Exhibition. I'm gonna go see this beauty spot. It's right near where I live. We've added some more stations to your radio. If you're into drum and bass, then tune into Hospital Records. And if you're into something much calmer, Timeless FM is back with a healthy dose of classical. Okay, hospital records, let's go. It's not bad. Oh, okay, I see the white horse. Cool, it looks... <laughs> looks like a white horse, I don't know what I expected. Am I supposed to, like, take a picture of it? Am I supposed to invade it? I mean, my destination is here. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm supposed to go there and then view it. Oh, I'm standing on it. Ah, the Offington White Horse. This thing's incredible. The first prehistoric display of horsepower. One. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know why I, I would drive up to it, get out my car and stand in it, like... <laughs> Who does that? Alright, world map. We have no choices here, so I'm gonna go to the Tarn House Scramble. And... I mean, we already did the turn house scramble, right? Are you really reusing races that soon? Like, I'm what, an hour and a half into this game at best, and you're already reusing races? That's not a good look. You shouldn't be reusing races until, like, maybe 15, 20, 25 hours in, and it's like, hey, remember this race you did? Try it again, but in winter, where it's icy, and I'm like, cool. 
I can't imagine there's any difference between summer and autumn. Like, watch out, it's got leaves on it now. Fucking... Whoa! <laughs> Who cares? What did I come in the first time, house scramble? Third? Second? Oh, man, I'm off-road again. I wonder if it races me in my Impreza or the, the Audi, because I haven't decorated the Impreza yet. I might do it between this recording session. Like, I'm just sitting down and recording a bunch of episodes at once, trying to have fun. Um, but maybe between this recording session and the next, I should decorate my Impreza. Because there should be a billion modifications for that, because that's like... Customize a car 101. People do all sorts of those things. Hey, there's that pub we crashed out at for the night. I'm starting to recognize landmarks, and that's nice. Like, I'm beginning to feel the location. And I like that. Okay, we bumped into him. Sorry! <laughs> Cool. Tarnhouse Scramble. It should put me in a different car, like... It's a dirt race, right? It's an off-road dirt race. I don't want to do a scramble so, in an alley. I should probably let you know that the mud will be real slippy out there because of all that rain we've been getting recently. Same course, totally different drive. I mean... I don't know how it's... I don't know anything about tuning. I just don't know. Half of it's locked anyway. Alright, I guess we're racing... Not our off-road car. In the scramble. I'm gonna skid out, like... Oh my look, it's a puddle as well. Rain looks really good though, and it's a real shame because I'm using a 1080 Ti, which is pretty good, but it doesn't have ray tracing. And this is a game I feel like, with liquids and ray tracing refract refractions, reflections in your car windows and mirrors, could look so good. Right, we're not doing very good here. I connect with this guy when in the bubble a bit much. Yeah, we kind of skip the track there, using this man as our shield. Sorry, we're in fifth now though, feels good. I wonder if I'd come first in those races, if I would already be qualified, or if this is a punishment for not coming first. Like. Oh, look at this clown. He couldn't come first. Let's make him do it again, but in the rain. Cool, that was a good little skidding overtake. Slingshot. Oh, that puddle is grim. I'm trying not to steer very much, because that's how you lose control. Wow, that was... Spicy maneuver that put us well in the front pack. Get out of my way. Right, back in there. Lord of Ward. See, I'm beginning to get familiar with some of these usernames, but they're like very clowny. Like, who gives a shit about the Lord of Ward 86? Give him a name. Make me care about him. And then have like some semi-random events like, oh, the Lord of War just got sponsored by this guy in like a newsreel or a radio announcement. And using a real name. Because they already recorded audio for like 500 names. I saw all sorts of names in there. So they could have put that on the radio. It could have been like, oh, have you heard that James Turner has just been given a contract with so-and-so sports? Final lap. We're in the lead. Maybe dirt racing 
isn't the worst one. Maybe there'll be something I hate more. Oh no, that wasn't good for us. I'm surprised we didn't get overtaken, that was very clumsy. Should be able to get some defensive driving in, because I can see them coming. As long as I don't let them overtake me, even if it costs me a couple of hits to the backside. Just don't let him take my place. I wonder if dodging that puddle would be faster. I also wonder if hitting the puddle cleans my car. <laughs> or if it's just a, like a dirty mud puddle. And it just makes the car so much grosser. Back on the road. Feels good, man. Don't crash out at the last second, come on. We're so far ahead of everybody else. Nice. First. Feels good. It's not often that I win something. By five seconds! Best lap. By four seconds, because they finished their lap that time. But wow, that's pretty huge. I was well, well above them in that one. Cool. Hey, I just <laughs> I just installed that emote. <laughs> Fifteen thousand. Cool. Another three thousand fans. Feels good. What a drive! Woo. Oh, we'll have you in round two of the dirt racing series. Thank you very much. Cool. It doesn't matter if you've already done this route. The fans will keep coming back for more. You'll get noticed, and it'll help you qualify for the next round. It's a win-win. Okay, hey, so driver. Can... Welcome to the Horizon <laughs> Autumn season. My team are helping me find our most influential rookie to compete in the next showcase. Want it to be you? Convince me. Beck tells me you're in round two of the road racing series. And Joel mentioned that someone named Mike Steele... Mike Steele! Something. <laughs> Love Speaking that guy. Stunts. Jay's on the hunt for our next stunt. Oh, wow, it's giving me shitloads of stuff. And Alex says he's ready to kick off round two of dirt racing. But he's really excited to get going on the cross-country series. Oh, my lord. Well, what are you waiting for? They didn't even mention that there's uh, a Top Gear challenge. Cool. So now it's beginning to open up. I guess that that autumn intro that's extremely railroaded is just like you you just have to do it that way and now the game begins to open up like and if i want to be just a dirt racer i can just do loads of different dirt racing events and if i want to be a street race i can do different street racing events that's cool all right i'm feeling it more now definitely happy that it opened up horizon backstage for exclusive cars Ooh. we've got 200 grand i think we should go to like an auction house and buy some cars also, there's some boards just, like, around. Influence boards? So smashing the fast travel boards gives me a discount on fast travel. Smashing the influence boards gives me more fans, question mark? I like the speed camera, like, events. That seems cool. I dig that a lot. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you've been enjoying Forza Horizon 4. I have. I'm really down to play this some more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.